For many, it was their first opportunity to show support. Medina Izzy has the story. <laughs> At the camp stuff. marks its 123 days, hundreds attend the trespassers' powwow on Saturday to show their support and stand in solidarity and companionship with their fellow Indigenous residents. Mine is here today to show my support and um, just be an advocate for the Indigenous community and all that they stand for. It was a great group of people and it was just uh, wonderful to be part of an event like this. Reconciliation isn't something for one part of society to think about. It's a conversation we all have to be a part of. Indigenous communities from across Saskatchewan travel to Regina to attend the celebration dedicated to celebrate those that have encouraged and helped campers through tough times. The support that has come in from all over uh, the province and across Canada, even outside of Canada, um, we've just been overwhelmed with how important the issues we've brought up are to so many people. And although the camp was set up more than four months ago, for many who came out on Saturday, it was their first time visiting the camp. Uh, yeah, it's the first time I've been to the camp, actually, yeah. I've had an eye on it, but it's the first time I've really, you know, been close up part of it. Ingrid Alsage, who is originally from Australia, but has lived in Canada for more than 45 years, says she is outraged by how Indigenous people are treated here, and her presence at the powwow is in retaliation to that treatment. I was really horrified by how much racism I heard, witnessed, and dreadful stuff that I would hear. And I used to be like amazed and then not say anything, but then I decided to say something to speak up. Saturday was a celebration for all who have and continue to support the justice for our stolen children's camp. But on Canada Day, there will be no celebration. And instead, campers will take part in Talking Circle, where families will have a chance to share stories of grief, loss, joy, and reunification. Medina Azizi, CTV News, Regina. It was also 